so today we are going to look at some topics so some of the problems that you might be encountering with zoho workspace we will see today basically zoho is a google equivalent so let's jump right into it so first of all you would like to uh, you can say configure your dns so that's simple basically you just go to just for beginners i'll go zoho mail admin console as you can see from here just click it you will actually land onto the main page and then you can uh, go on here simply by clicking here okay in the domains part if you go you can add domain buy from here as well right in order to register for it you will first have to submit these mx records into your dns point like in my case it was hostinger so that you have to put in first then there is spf as well and dkim once all these are done you are all set to basically get it aligned with the mail now one of the things that i have seen is like if you want to like change your domain or like the mail id let's say let us go to this one and let us go to our mail server we'll sign in and we can this is a new view but you can actually go to the actual mail which is this one and if you click on new mail it will just use your particular email address right now if suppose you want to change this one right then in order to do that what you will have to go is click on your profile and then click admin console you will again land on this one now click on users again go inside one of the users and then click on mailbox settings so here you will find the mailboxes you can basically use a different mailbox or add a new one and then set as mailbox address that basically helps you to change it let's say abc at this one and set this as mailbox address at this so this is now the mailbox address right now if i go back the new mail and just refresh the page you'll find that it is actually the new mail address and simply if you want to go back and set this as that one then you can use this as well now i'll just delete it right and if suppose you have added a few of the aliases then if somebody actually sends a mail to support at gorgeous.com it will actually land up in this mailbox itself right so we don't have to manage multiple mailboxes it's kind of the same but for the customer it will be like multiple mailboxes right so that's how you set your alias mention another important topic which is your how to access your billing information and how is these plans basically coming up so there are two types of plans right now for mail only which is 75 rupees per user per month right so each user uh, equals each mailbox and for each month there will be 75 rupees and mail premium is for 50 gb per user this is also billed monthly and if you go via the monthly route because this one was yearly payment but the price was shown per month wise this is monthly payment and this is how it looks like now once you have set this up this is what it offers in the full plan so the first one is pretty decent for kind of the hosting of the mail so it is very good and what we can also see is if after the particular period you are basically not willing to resubscribe still you will get 5 gb per user free right which is kind of their entire plan is that if due to some reason you don't continue you will still don't not lose access to the actual mail which you have let's say i go to my account you see that this is a mail free and it actually has access to the mailbox and i can use the mailbox for the business purpose as well. and in order to resubscribe there's just the simple thing that uh, you can click on upgrade anywhere and just upgrade it you will get redirected to the payments page right you don't need to uh, basically come on to account and here this is a separate page which you can use to set up the security part of it and the notifications you want to see so that one one more thing which you will find helpful in this uh, when we are discussing the mail itself is let's say i go to mail again 
you will find that the mailbox is actually quite bit different from the regular ones like gmail and outlook in the way that for newer mails you will find that some of them might come in the notification right if suppose you are uh, onboarding any particular shop or you are creating anything so all the no reply associated mails come in the notification then there is new newsletter and outbox remember only for those few of the mails which support the inbox functionality they will come into the mailbox directly otherwise most of them are going to go into notifications tab and same is the case with your uh, mobile app I'm on my phone as you can see and i'll click on the zoho mail app and this is how it looks right so basically in the mail app you see four tabs down below android will be similar so uh, if i click on email i will land on here and as you can see this is the inbox maybe you will first land on to this screen and you just need to click on back you will see all the different categories. I haven't found a suitable or comfortable way to actually put all these into inbox rather, but still I think it is a good UI. So you can use this and the notification tab is down below as well as the newsletter here, right? Uh, for other things like calendar and contacts, we have different tabs as well as settings, but this is how you will have to navigate and keep track of all these things once you set up the notifications as well right so that was kind of the overview and a few things that i found important sharing with uh, you guys so do let me know if you have any questions and there are other mail settings as well like forwarding and account restrictions that you can particularly set up so for more of these details you can actually join the sigma solver community where we not only help you get set up with the admin console also there are other uh, like tools like mail admin and calendar which we help you set up right so all these things are there inside the community if you want those or any other problem you have regarding your setup you may reach out to us in the comment section below as well if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and till then happy solving hey there before you go i've got some fantastic content lined up for you over here we've got some videos and playlists you might enjoy but first if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video